Hi everyone, welcome to Key2 Blogging and in this video I will show you how you can fix CLS issue in your blogger website. So CLS means cumulative layout shift. So here as you can see that the cumulative layout shift is 0.044. So you can fix this cumulative layout shift by following some techniques like you can assign height and width in images. So here I have run a page speed test of this page. So this is a blog post and here there is an image here and here you can see the whole page here. So when I run the test in page speed inside here I will see this option CLS and there is a CLS issue called image element do not have explicit width and height. So if you don't set the height and width in the images, then it will shift the paragraph below and swap the images. So let me just show you how the CLS issue work. So here they have explained a video. So let me just play it for you. And here as you can see that in this video, the images pop up and shift the paragraph below. So if you set a width and height in these images then the paragraph will stay in the same position and image will load in that predefined position. So whenever you assign a width and height to the images it will reserve a space for that images so that the CLS will not happen in your website. But if you have not set the width and height for the image then the CLS will occur. And if you are using AdSense in your website then also CLS issue comes like if you have set auto ads or set the manual ads also whenever the ad load it will shift the paragraph below and load the ad so in that cases the cls issue occurred that's why it is very difficult to pass core web vitals if you have these problems so let's check how can fix this error so watch the video till the end and i will share you some amazing techniques to solve the cls issue and by the way, if you found this video helpful, then make sure to hit the like button. And if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing. So let's go to the page speed test here. So as you can see that this is the images and we want to assign width and height in this image. So for this, we need to go to blogger dashboard here. And let me just go to the post here. Now I will open that blog post and I will switch to the HTML view. And here as you can see that I have already added an image. So let me just hit enter here and let me just hit enter here. So this is the image code and here you can see that there is a deep class here and there is an anchor class added after that and there is an image class. So I don't need the deep class and anchor class so I can simply delete that. And I will remove this last two tag anchor and deep closing anchor and closing deep tag. Okay, now we have the image tag here. And uh, here, as you can see, that we have set the image to original width. That's why it is set the data original width. But this tag will not support the browser. So for this, we need to specifically assign the width again. So what I can do is I will just copy from here width equal to 1280 and I will paste it again and I will do the same with height as well so let me just copy the height like this and I will paste it here so now we have assigned the height and width for the images so that browser can know that the height of this image is 720 pixel and the width is 1280 pixel so in this way browser will reserve the space before loading the images so that it will not shift the paragraph below and it will fix this CLS issue. And here we are using JPG images and there is a pro tip. If you want to use WebP format, then you can simply add dash RW to make it WebP. So you can also do that. So I have already covered how to load WebP images in blogger website. So you can watch this video to learn more. Okay, now we have assigned the height and width in these images. So let me just update this page again. Now I will go to page speed inside and I will scroll up and let me just copy the URL again and let me just open this in a new tab. Now let me just run the page speed test again. So let's click on analyze. So let's wait for a couple of seconds. So let me just scroll down here 
and let me just click on CLS here and as you can see that that CLS error is now gone which was earlier present so let me just show you if you if I click on the CLS it will show an error like image element do not have explicit width and height so we have fixed that error in that blog post and there is one more error in this website so when I click on CLS here you will see this type of error like this avoid large layout shifts and it is happening with headings and paragraph as well so why this is happening because the text will load quite fast but still the CLS issue is happening in headings and paragraph and that's because here we are using custom fonts so if you use custom google fonts then the google font will take some time to load and in that process it will create the CLS issue so to solve this you can simply remove the google font from your website and use system font like you can use font family like system ui so if you use this font family then you can easily fix this issue as well so let me just show you how you can do that so what i can do is i will just go to the blogger dashboard here and i will go to the theme here and i will click on edit html and before making any changes make sure to take a backup of your theme first so here as you can see that i am using the enter font family so we can change this font family to system ui so that it will not load the google font and it will load the system font so let me just scroll down here and here it is the body font so let me just change it to system ui and i will do the same with menu fonts here as well and i will do the same with title as well and text all right now we have changed our font family in the root section so let me just click on save here and if you have manually assigned font family to different elements then you have to do the same with those elements as well okay now let me just go to the website and let me just use this and here i am using the inter font family and using the 400 font weight so let me just simply refresh this page as we have changed the font to system ui and let me just do the same here and as you can see that the font is changed to system ui now it will not send any request to download the google font from the server and it will start showing the font from the system so that it will not create the cls issue in your website so let's check the page speed test again so what i can do is i will again open this in a new tab here and let me just scroll up and let me just copy the url and let me just paste the url here and let's analyze now let me just scroll down here and click on cls here and here as you can see that earlier there is three elements in this avoid large layout shift section if you scroll down here and here it is avoid large layout shift there is three elements but now it is reduced to one element and let's check the cls now the cls is zero and earlier the cls was 0 0.001 and before that this cls was 0 0.004 so in this way you can fix CLS issue, cumulative layout shift issue in your blogger website. So there is one more error if you are using AdSense then you have to specifically assign the width and height of that ad so that it will not create CLS issue. So to fix this we can use a deep. So let me just show you. So let me just open my website here TechyLib and here I have uh, enclosed the add code with a deep class so let me just show you so let me just open an add here and as you can see that i have added a billboard add here so this is a custom add code here and i have wrapped this code with a deep class and here as you can see that i have assigned the background color of this deep and i have assigned the width to 100 percent and i have assigned the height to 280 pixel so whenever the page will load it will reserve the 280 pixel size in the website and it will not shift the ad uh, when the page is loading so you can reserve the space before and when the 
add will load it will not ship the page so you can use the div class in all of your manual add unit but if you are using auto ads then the problem will still there because we can't control the size of the auto ads so if you are using manual ads then you can easily fix the cls issue for your manual adsense ad unit or if you are using any other ad unit then you can also do the same with this deep section so let me just remove it temporarily and let's check how the cls issue occur so let me just delete that and let me just click on save here now what i can do is i will open it in a incognito mode so let me just open it here and as you can see that the ad is not showing here but when the ad loads it will shift the content below and start showing the ad here and as you can see that the earlier the spin post is showing just below this hero section but when the ad load it will push the pin post section below and load the ad so to fix this we can add the deep section here so let me just add the deep section again and let me just close the deep tag here okay now let me just save here and let's go to the incognito mode let me just delete it and let me just open the site again and as you can see that now the ad is loading fine and it is not creating the cls issue because we have reserved the space for the ad unit so in this way you can fix cls issue in your blogger website one is setting width and height to images and setting the width and height to adsense ad unit as well so if you found this video helpful then make sure to hit the like button and i recommend you to check out our page speed insight playlist where i have explained different methods to solve different issues in page speed insight so if you found this video helpful then make sure to hit the like button and for more videos like this do subscribe our channel i will see you in the next time bye bye